Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are Fan Club React, and today we are bringing to attention how dumb Americans they actually are. So, to explain this affirmation, confirmation, we should explain. We are Portuguese, not Brazilian, but from Portugal, which is in Europe, next to Spain. We found a video that is th American things that we, as European, do not understand. And we, we both follow a lot of American people. So we we'll love see. American people. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Close. <laughs> so we will see if we know these things, or and if we understand what they are. So yeah, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> I'm scared. And also, I know that we in Portugal learn more about American history than Americans learn about their history. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> While the I culture of the United States is okay, exported United all States. over the world and uh, films yeah, and on States, TV, because everyone and also needs, abides uh, by some laws America, and practices that many so, consider yeah. unusual, yeah. Europeans Even in Canadians particular seem to have a hard American. time grabbing yeah. them. From child beauty pageants to gun laws, I just let's love take the a look at some American like things there, the that middle. Europeans mm, can't yeah. understand. Sick of commercials. If you're a European enjoying a cozy night in on the couch in America, some of the stuff yes, on TV may shock and surprise so you. Weird. And no, I'm not talking about uh, I mean, we, ha with the we also have like I'm talking about here, commercials, no. which are <laughs> so frequently it makes have, watching like, TV uh, feel almost unbearable TV, to anyone like, unaccustomed to it. Especially pharmaceutical commercials, which usually show grump like Ambient ad. As well as abnormal behavior such as oh, we don't have that. We just normal, buy this. Agitation and hallucinations. <laughs> yeah. Don't take it without We have these kinds of allergic reactions such as shortness of breath, swelling of the tongue, radio. throat, occur, and yeah. in many cases may be fake. Huge business. And we in America, why it's right or wrong, oh, yeah. tend to follow no. the money. We do have kids might actually like need a that, pill for the headache all those TV, ads give them. The they cause drunkenness, loss of life, health, other powers, and a violent hatred of cheese. Yeah, no, in TV, not even the officials. No it's place like, like home. You can buy. Let's say in you're a European who has just we moved to over to, to like America. The pharmacy and you get found a house in a nice residential and neighborhood. And mostly you have to go to the doctor, and the doctor Rent, will sign. Water, gas, a electric. You can all buy seems this. in order. But wait a second. What's a homeowners association fee? To a native, that's a pretty obvious question. But for Europeans, it's an unwelcome right surprise. Now. These fees contribute to the local homeowners association, which is uh. somewhat like a neighborhood watch, but managing funds to be reinvested into the community. Oh. It goes towards Do things you know, like, like residential those rich maintenance and common spaces, mm -hmm. which keeps residents Close. happy and property values yeah. up, yeah. with around 24% of all Americans living off. under a vacant vacation days. The USA has one of the largest economies uh. in the world. A tremendous Do I have to economy. See this boy? U.S. workers are not entitled to mandatory paid vacation Excuse at all. Fucking me? Usually, the issue of yeah. paid leave is left at the discretion of employers. And yes, that does include national holidays. According to research from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2017, only 77% of American workers had access to paid vacation. Now, the reason what? that might leave Europeans slack, John, is because mandatory paid vacation time in Europe starts no, at four doesn't. weeks. No. In fact, America is one of the only you Western countries where law doesn't enforce companies to no, give its employees mandatory work, paid vacation months. time. Yeah. So don't get, believe me? You Take a look at this map like breaking down mandatory paid vacation. vacation time by country. Florida, Florida man. Florida. If the American <laughs> states could be looked at as a dysfunctional family, then Florida would be the weird uncle who once ran away with the circus yeah, and rescued. Florida Florida tiger. Crazy, the Sunshine State is the third most popular state in the USA and receives over 100 million visitors year on year. With so many people living between Miami Beach, Disneyland, and Pensacola, a little crazy is bound to be found on the fringes of society. We From this. Florida Man believed that he was half man, half dog in March 2019 to Florida man robs bank, strips naked, then runs down the street throwing stolen money everywhere. Yeah, like in July 2017, you can search the internet for almost any day of the year and find a headline announcing Florida man <laughs> has committed like an utterly baffling the crime. There doesn't seem to be an equivalent like for funny. European countries, although the UK comes close with some of its questionable funny, journalism but. topics like Britain's fattest woman ate fridge and died. Let me know the funniest Jesus. clip of the you've ever seen at stories at bmaze.com. 
that trouble. What's that? In Europe, like most of the world, tax uh, is built uh, into the yes. price of items in store and online. Oh, yeah. So what you see on the tag is what yes, you yes. pay. I know about but this. Europeans visiting an American store might be left like doing a double take at the bill when they before, reach the register. Like, uh, when There's you no are national sales stuff. tax or value yeah, added tax in, in America. Instead, American, American uh, taxes American, differ European, by jurisdiction, see, like, with of the which tax. there are around seven. We already know the price. Differences in these local but rates, in America, state taxes, or when combined paying, state so and local taxes mean that well, final prices for the, the same paper, item can differ paper, from one yes, street to the next. The for first-time shoppers uh -huh. in the U.S., this the unpleasant surprise is a run of passage that no one But it's already in the price, in the whole price, so it's Tipping point. Yeah. Tipping point. A meal at a restaurant can be a real treat. Oh, they are. Europeans visiting America sometimes. Sometimes stress about the tip. Although tipping anywhere up to 20% seems normal to most Americans, there's no such obligation in Europe. Indeed, it's mostly most seen as a bonus reward for good service. Like and in some European countries, every... it's even considered rude and excessive to leave a tip. The American federal government, however, states that tips can be used to satisfy the difference between the employee's hourly wage and the standard I think minimum the, wage. The this means food like servers, valets, and in-house staff in certain low, states can um, be working salary, for a federal so wage of just $2.13 uh, like, per hour. Which is tips. about one euro ninety six cents. Yeah. So if you're a European visitor to the states, get ready to factor in your tip to the overall price of your no, meal. Me, you might well like, be contributing bill, to a struggling like wage that rent. You have to pay. Child oh, beauty I know pageant. this. <laughs> if you've ever been unfortunate <laughs> like, enough to have yeah. watched an Talk episode of Toddlers and Tiaras on TLC, <laughs> yeah, I used to hate watching it. With the Europeans they look like dolls. I don't yeah, think it's Child beauty pageants necessary. are common across America and usually like consist of dolled up little girls being thrust onto a stage to entertain a crowd of screaming moms. Like this, the cute it's beautiful truly or, bizarre. But, here but we what's don't equally have that, strange is how the craze got started. I mean, Child pageants originated from American Better Baby high, contests like, in the early 20th century. Babies would be scored on characteristics like, like weight, quality like of skin, and face is. shape. <sighs> Size is everything. According to an old saying, everything's bigger <laughs> in Texas. Texas. Weird, man. But if you're a European, <laughs> you'll probably think that about all of America, right down to its people. It's no secret that America has a little bit of a weight problem. Two thirds of American adults classify as overweight, oh, and it's estimated that almost 40% of adults in the US age 20 and over are obese. We Contrasted to Europe, where a survey carried out in 2014 labeled just 15% of adults obese. That's a king size difference with a side but of fries. It's getting close the American tendency food. to overeat might have something to do with portion well, sizes yeah, in the States. A study comparing food. portions in Paris and well, Philadelphia revealed food outlet portions were 25% larger in Philly. Less, and a review of yeah. 17 different single serve foods like yogurt no, and candy bars found that 14 of them were bigger in Philadelphia. While a one state to one country comparison doesn't necessarily represent the whole, Europeans on social media often comment on how much bigger everything seems oh, yeah, stateside. Have you noticed this difference in portion sizes? I think sizes? our things are getting smaller below. every day. I, I just go to the bakery and pies. like cakes are like this oh, small. Sugar. It's yeah. getting yeah. smaller yeah. every really time and the price the is getting bite. bigger. <laughs> What's going on? Why? Economic well, some American <laughs> foods and drinks have been found to contain huge amounts of sugar yeah, compared to their so European equivalents. Some common bread brands contain up to six grams of sugar per serving. They don't have serving. a limit. Uh, in, Six like times in the Portugal, amount you have a limit there. Like you can but it doesn't end there. I'm Taking a look sure at don't. Pizza Hut sugar content reveals most of their stateside pizzas have close to double the amount of sugar per slice yes, as it. European versions. Like and in Starbucks, a UK venti white chocolate mocha will contain 62.4 yeah, grams of sugar. Lot. But in America, that shoots up to <laughs> 72 grams. Jesus. I've heard of sweetening the deal. Many <gasps> Europeans making the trip across the Atlantic might leave suffering from the toothache. <laughs> I'm actually Gaps sure. in the market. Ga European what? standards of building a public restroom involve plenty of privacy, yeah. mainly uh, in the form of cubicles depends. with doors that are more door than gap. Well, Seems obvious, but it's a standard that Americans just can't seem to adopt. With ridiculously large gaps at the top, <laughs> bottom, and sides, it makes yeah. for a truly yes, uncomfortable first like visit so to an American and toilet like, for unwitting visitors. Yeah. On their first time, Europeans but are left like, feeling the especially the top, susceptible no, to unwelcome so visitors space. and peeping times. Yeah. Some people really even resort to taping up the gap to prevent prying eyes looking in. <laughs> 
But as strange as the design seems, there are some theories as to why Americans build their stalls this way. For a start, high floor gaps allow for easier cleaning, yeah, I mean. and they do make it simpler to pass toilet paper <laughs> from one cubicle to another. On top we, of we, that, like, the vertical uh, gaps act uh, as a deterrent for anyone yeah, yeah. thinking of doing yeah. anything naughty behind closed doors. But there's always the chance you might accidentally get a real eye for it. <laughs> Maybe just close your eyes before entering any American I've never been to America, just so... Just don't the United States. It strikes many Europeans as a bit odd that in America you can pick up your groceries from one aisle of a store and a gun from another. Yeah, it's Indeed, you can buy guns yeah. over the counter in oh, places like, the, like Walmart. The most thing is like can be found in um, the groceries and then you have wine. That's in a different part. Like what is it that seals? Europeans not, like, Europeans find like, weird about the gun loving, rifle-wielding, second amendment touting American citizen? It might have something to do with the yeah, like gun related like death now rate, seeing as per capita, there were 12 gun related deaths for every 100,000 like people have, in America and 27 per 100,000 people. The causes of the problem are fiercely debated. But yeah, that part but it of might wine have something to do like with how easy dark, it is to buy a gun. Background checks are usually, usually like carried cover out, up but a in research like survey from Harvard somewhere. in 2015 like estimated that a third of American gun owners have purchased a firearm without a background check. I in think, Europe, many cool. countries like Austria and Germany require would-be gun owners to go through a rigorous seven-step procedure before owning yeah, a gun. Yeah, we have procedures. Yeah, you can have just a gun. You have to, to have a license and Many categories of semi-automatic well, weapons it. are illegal to own yeah, across no, Europe. Because it's, illegal it's simply much harder to legally purchase a gun in Europe than it is in the like U.S., which I'm sure is a... What's that European country with uh, best violence? I think Portugal I is pretty good. I think I saw the rank, and Portugal was one of the least with like violence or and Sweden. Yeah. Sweden is also good. That yeah, that's. I don't think I think we're Sweden because like here we, if you want to kill somebody, use something else. Like you don't need natural a gun. weapon yeah. or a, a gun. You can use anything to kill somebody with no <laughs> strength. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think the, I think for us guns are not that important though. No. They're like we don't like guns. It's just when you see police like uh, with guns you're like, "Oh shit, shit's going real. Yeah. Someone's getting shot, baby." As a teacher, future teacher, for me guns are like off table completely. For me, dialogue yeah. is like the main like strength ever, so for me not Obviously. violence is like no, not guns, yeah. everything. Um, we're going to talk this through, and we're going to find the source of the problem. Yeah, so for me, guns obviously, is like... Like, for me, well, obviously I agree with you. For me, guns are like the last resort of everything. Because, like, okay, there's many ways of getting someone to go off or, like, leave a gun. But the most useful is manipulation. I think I think because uh, uh, everyone has a gun in the United States. Every like the guns are like, um, it's you, it's like a fork. Yeah. It's like you like yeah. Psh, I'm just going to shoot this this dude, and it's so normalized that everyone has yeah. a gun. Everyone can shoot each other. Everyone can kill each other. It's like for me, it's so weird. Yeah, I know. Like that, kids in America already have guns and already know how to shoot them and how to like to recoil happens and you all and, like, get surprised about the school shooting obviously you you are yeah. like having guns like everywhere you allow this to happen you allow like the same thing with like uh gun um smoke grenades mm -hmm. do you know how toxic the like, smoke is it's like intensely toxic as Europeans, I'm I'm scared of going to a restaurant now because I don't want to give a big tip. I'm poor, hun. I'm poor. <laughs> I don't want to, like... Why do you think they always uh, order from home? Because then in the app they take the tip right away, and I... then if you if they get if, and some people when they arrive, the drivers they give them a bigger tip because they are all rich. When you get to a taxi, I think you always give a tip. Like not usual, not much, but I think you, if you want, you can give a tip. Here, taxis. Yeah, I think we got we yes. we gotta stop calling them America. You gotta need to start start calling them Ameri uh, like United States of America. U.S. Because like, America is like yeah. the whole continent. So for me, it's the entire thing. Uh, if you like it, 
give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. He explained to us why Americans think they should be called American. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also check our description if you want to see more information about us and other the video. Things. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to go see it yourself. Comment <laughs> if you want us to do something with our country, other people's countries, yeah. continents. I don't know if you want. Anyway, geographic lesson that we will not be able to give. <laughs> Stay safe, get vaccinated, and yeah, yeah. bye. Goodbye.